Hello everyone. Today our topic in virtual memory, space replacement algorithms. For counting the number of page faults and for comparison between the page replacement algorithms, we will use the following reference string. And we will assume that the memory has three frames. A simple and obvious page replacement strategy is the first in, first out. For this string, we page fault to bring seven, the next page fault for zero, and the next page fault for one. The next page is two, and we haven't free frame. So seven is chosen as a victim. Next zero, zero is there. Three, we choose zero as a victim. Next zero, page one is chosen as a victim. Next four, page two is chosen as a victim, and we continue in the same manner. According to the first in, first out page replacement, the number of page faults is 15. The first in, first out page replacement can be implemented using a queue. A new pages are brought in, they are added to the tail of a queue, and the page at the head of the queue is the next victim. All the first in, first out is simple and easy. It's not always optimal or even efficient. First in, first out page replacement suffers from the latest anomaly. In general, we know that if the number of frames allocated to a process is increased, then the page fault rate decreases. In Pilates anomaly, increasing the number of frames available can actually increase the number of page faults that occur. Consider the following reference string. If the number of frames is two, then we have 12 page faults. If the number is three, we have nine. But if the number of frames allocated to the process is four, then the number of page faults increases to 10. In this case, the maximum number of page faults is 12. And if the number of frames is five, then we have five page faults. But in between, the latest anomaly occurs. So the above curve here, if we have the latest anomalies, is like this. Increasing the number of frames in some cases does not decrease the page fault rate. The next page replacement algorithm is the optimal page replacement. Here we replace the page that will not be used for the longest period of time. So after bringing these pages as here, now for page two, the page that will not be used for the longest period of time from these pages, seven, zero, and one, is page seven. So it's selected as a victim. Page two is brought here, zero is there. Now page three is not here. And among the pages, zero, one, and two, here zero, two, one is selected as a victim since it's the page that will not be used for the longest period of time. So three is brought here. And we continue in the same manner. According to this algorithm, number of page faults equals to nine. For the same string, the number of page faults with first in, first out was 15. Optimal page replacement is difficult to implement because it requires future knowledge of the reference string. And this is similar to the shortage of first scheduling. The results in both algorithms are optimal, but they are difficult to implement. It's used as a benchmark for the comparison and evaluation of real proposed new algorithms. Most page replacement algorithms 
try to approximate optimal page replacement. Next, least recently used page replacement. According to this algorithm, we select as a victim the page that has not been used for the longest period of time. For this reference string, after bringing these pages, the next page is two. The page that has not been used for the longest period of time among these pages, 701 is seven. So we select it as a victim. Zero is there. Next to three. The page that has not been used for the longest period of time is one. So three is brought here. Next zero is there. Next four. And the page that has not been used for the longest period of time among these pages, two, zero, three, is two. And we continue in the same manner. The total number of page faults here is 12. How to implement the least recently used policy? There are two simple approaches used with counters and the second with the stack. According to this implementation, we have a counter which is incremented on every memory access. The current value of the counter is stored in the page table entry for that page here. So in the page table, we have an entry of counter value associated with each page table entry. Finding the least recently used page involves searching the page table for the page with the smallest counter value. So to implement least recently used policy using counters, we need a counter value associated with each entry in the page table and the CPU register counter that is incremented after each reference to memory. The value of the counter is stored in the page table entry associated with the reference page. The second approach is to use a stack. Whenever a page is accessed, pull that page from the middle of the stack and place it on the top of the stack. The least recently used page will always be at the bottom of the stack. Here we have a snapshot of the stack implementation for the least recently used algorithm. This is the stack before this point. Two is in the top of the stack. Next to the front page, seven. So seven should be moved to the top of the stack. And the least recently used page here is four. So whenever a page is referenced, we have to pull that page from the middle of the stack and place it on the top. For this reason, some systems use a doubly linked list data structure to implement the least recently used instead of using stacks. Both optimal replacement and least recently used do not suffer from belated anomaly. Next, least recently used approximation page replacement. As it was shown, full implementation of least recently used algorithm requires hardware support. And the few systems provide the full hardware support required. Many systems offer some degree of hardware support, enough to approximate least recently used algorithm. Many systems provide a reference bit for every entry in the page table. Initially, all bits are set to zero. This bit is set to one anytime the page is accessed. One bit precision is enough to classify pages into two types, referenced and not referenced. The pages with zero in the reference bit has not been referenced, and the pages with the reference bit one has been referenced. The operating system is able to clear any reference bit. 
and this action is useful in some page replacement algorithms. Some operating systems use more than one reference bit. Sometimes eight reference bits are used for each page in the page table. At periodic intervals, the operating system takes over and shift right each of the reference bytes by one bit. The high order bit is dimpled in with the current value of the reference bit and the reference bit is cleared. Suppose, for example, that the old contents of this byte for this page is 1010100. And it, during this time interval, this page has been referenced. So we have one in the reference bit. So the new contents of this byte will be one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. This bit is inserted here and all the other bits are shifted right by one position. At any time, the page with the smallest value for the reference byte is the least recently used page. Using additional reference bits, we can implement different page replacement algorithms, not only the least recently used. We can count the number of ones and implement the least frequently used page replacement algorithm. Next, second chance replacement algorithm. The second chance replacement algorithm is like the first in first out algorithm, except that the reference bit is used to give pages a second chance at staying in the page table. When a page must be replaced, the page table is scanned in a circular review manner. If a page is found with its reference bit not set, then that page is selected as the next victim. If however the next page does have its reference bit set, then it is given a second chance. The reference bit is cleared and the people search continues. So in this example, if we were here, we will not select this page as a victim, but we clear its reference bit. And this page as well will not be selected as a victim but this reference bit is clear to zero. Here we have zero, so this page will be selected as a victim. So as the name implies, the page is given a second chance before it is selected as a victim. Consider that we have the following reference bits for the page table entries, and the pointer now is here. Since the reference bit here is one, this page will not be selected as a victim, but it is reference bit is cleared. The pointer is moved to the next reference bit. Again, it is one, so this page will not be selected as a victim, and its reference bit is cleared. So this page will be selected as a victim. When scanning the reference bits, you can consider the operating system saying to the page that has a reference bit of one, I will not select you as a victim. Since your reference bit is one, I will clear your reference bit so you will be a candidate to be a victim in the next scan if you will not be referenced. Next, enhance second chance algorithm. We can enhance the second chance algorithm by considering both the reference and the modify bits as an ordered pair. With these two bits, we have the following four possibilities. Zero, zero, neither recently used nor modified. And this is the best page to be selected as a victim. Zero, one, not recently used, but modified. Not quite as good because the page will need to be written out for replacement, since the modified bit is one. One zero, the next in order, 
recently used but clean here we do not need to swap the page out but it has recently been used one one recently used and modified although recently used but the dirty bit is one and we have to swap it to the backing store this algorithm searches the page table in a circular manner looking for the first page in the lowest numbered category so it first makes a pass looking a zero zero and then if it cannot find one it makes another pass looking for a zero one etc the main difference between this algorithm and the second chance replacement algorithm is the performance for replacing clean pages if possible next counting based page replacement we can keep a counter of the number of references that have been made to each page and develop the following two schemes the least frequently used page replacement in this algorithm we replace the page with the smallest count value and the most frequently used page replacement in which we replace the page with the largest count the most frequently page replacement algorithm is based on the argument that the page with the smallest count was probably just brought and has yet to be used next page buffering algorithms in addition to the above discussed algorithms there are a number of page buffering algorithms that can be used and the purpose is to improve the overall performance for example some systems keep a pool of three frames when a page fault occurs a victim frame is chosen as before however the desired page is read into a free frame from the pool before the victim is written out this procedure allows the process to restart as soon as possible without waiting for the victim page to be written out when the victim is later written out its frame is added to the free frame pool according to this scenario we always have a pool of free frames when a page fault occurs we go ahead and allocate one of the free frames from the free frame list first to get the requesting process up and running again as quickly as possible and then select a victim page to write to disk and free up a frame as a second step an expansion to this idea is to keep a list of modified pages and when the IO system is idle write these pages or some of them out to disk after that the dirty bit is cleared thereby increasing the chance of finding a clean page for the next victim another modification is to keep a pool of free frames but remember what page was in it before it was made free here since the data in the page is not actually cleared out when the page is freed it can be made an active page again without the need to read it from the disk the solution is useful when the page selected as a victim is needed again soon these are the most common known page replacement algorithms for today that's all thank you